Hi, my name is Luis Castaño with IAC's Tip of the Month. Today we want to discuss the differences between bottom load pulse jet bag houses and top load pulse jet bag house. And in summary, you always want to have a top load pulse jet bag house. Why is that? Well, on a top load, the maintenance person is on the clean side of the bag house. They can access the full array of bags and actually do a good job of installation. It's safer, it's easier to do, and it's simply better. On the bottom load, the maintenance personnel has to go on the dirty side, which is far from pleasant to change, go in and change filter bags. And it doesn't quite matter if it's pleasant or not for most plant managers, but if, the, if it's so unpleasant that the guy can't do a good job, the end result is that we can have emissions out the stack, which is not good. We have seen a lot of bottom load bag houses outside. The only reason to use a bottom load bag house is if you have a restriction, a space restriction such as a roof and you don't have enough room to remove a cage from the top. In that case you need a bottom load and put up with its deficiencies. But if you have room, you want a top load. Now let's just say that this bag house is outside, you do have room and somebody made the mistake of putting a bottom load. We can turn it into a top load by changing the top module and putting handrails. So there is a solution for this uh, problem and, and we see that there's a lot of installations that were done with bottom load bag houses where it didn't need to be. So if you want to discuss your application and your headaches with one of our engineers, please give us a call. I'm sure we have solutions for you. Thank you.